some fight. Not only that, we're about to see who's next. One of the driving forces behind WCW success, former WCW champion. A man who absolutely bleeds in. Sneak attack from behind, and this superstar is downright unhinged. The official calling for some backup to try to get this superstar away. This is absurd. The damage has been done, no doubt about that. Mike just had a permanent. because the trash talking's already started. It is very clear these superstars do not like each other. Oh, we're not gonna wait any longer. The match hasn't even started yet. And these superstars couldn't care less. This is permanent to the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Get a little bit of sportsmanship here. That's what I like to see. This oh. is what I like to see. Okay, that wasn't cool. It was funny though. Mike just had a permanent. Nobody meaner than Tamina.
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! Tamina making her own history. Indeed, Tamina making history alongside Natalya, becoming the first competitors to compete in matches on two consecutive nights at WrestleMania. Here comes Eve Torres and from Denver, Colorado. Eve Torres. Don't get it twisted. Eve is more than looks. She holds a black belt in jujitsu after training with the most notable family in all of mixed martial arts. Yeah. A tremendous competitor, diva search winner, multi-time women's champion. Yeah, Torres is a woman to watch out for, but we also know she won't hesitate to manipulate the rule book. But Eve knows when to work hard and when to work smart. Eve Torres poised and ready for action here tonight. And I think it's safe to say Eve's proven time and time again that she knows how to make it to the top of the women's division, to the top of WWE, no matter what it takes. I'm not sure I like what you're implying. For years, people have called Eve manipulative just because she knows how to get what she wants. But she deserves both inside and outside of the squared circle. How is it manipulative to formulate a plan and execute it to perfection? Huh? Just to be clear, I wasn't implying that at all, Corey. I was just highlighting Eve's go-getter mentality, which has served her very well in the past and could be the difference maker here tonight. Oh, sorry. And then there's Tamina. You know, a popular song once said, I'm only happy when it rains. Well, Tamina's only happy when there's pain. Pain that she's inflicting upon her opponents. That is definitely Tamina's M.O., Corey. Nobody, Mina, and Tamina. And she makes that clear with everything she does. Corey, they say that nobody's Mina than Tamina. Do you think that will play a factor in this matchup? Absolutely, Cole. Tamina takes a sick pleasure in being mean. In fact, I think it only makes her more powerful. No reason for that to change here. From the top. Big miss right there. Counter from Tamina. Oh, not today. Caught by surprise with the DDT. Turning the tables. I was talking to a few folks in the locker room today, and they definitely noticed the recent tension between these superstars. They're not quite sure where it came from, but they're all in agreement that it's escalated quickly. Sometimes you just don't vibe with people, Cole. Of course, usually when that happens, you don't have to face off against each other in a squared circle. So this is a little different than most other rivalries. And we just saw some serious offense. Oh, right on the arm. Oh, dear. Taking a page out of the Michael Cole playbook. Oh, there's a response against Eve. Tamina just being downright mean there, inflicting as much pain as possible. Climbing to the top row. Trying to get into the head of the winner here. 